Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing some uh, classwork. We will be touching on uh, some uh, mathematics that you will meet in your computer studies class. If you are doing your ICT course, whether it be in a certificate level, diploma, uh, computer science degree, and so on and so forth. You will be meeting uh, what we call number systems. And... Uh, since I was in high school, went to college, I met friends who had uh, a lot of issues on uh, working on the number systems. So what I mean by number systems is that we know what we call the decimal number system. That's one of them, the most widely used. So in the decimal number system, we have digits 0 through 9. We also have other number systems like the binary number system with digits 0 and 1. Only has two digits. So 2 by, that's how we come up with binary. We also have what we call the octal number system. And the octal number system has eight digits, 0 through, sorry, 7. Lastly, I'll uh, be looking at what we call the hexadecimal, which has digits 0 through 9, then A through F. So let's look at the decimal number system. And in the decimal number system, just like we said, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Numbers written in the decimal number system, for example, 249, we will be denoting it by uh, uh, having 10 as a subscript after the number, and that is the base. So 249 with a 10 as a subscript means it is a number, in the decimal number system. Now the first thing I would like us to do with this decimal number system is how can we convert a number from this decimal system to binary, octal and hexadecimal. Let's begin with the binary. Beginning with the same number 249 converting it to the binary number system the procedure is going to be involving division. And the binary number system has two digits. Therefore, the base is two. So we'll be dividing 249 by two. And we will be noting the quotients and the remainder. So, we are going to see that when you do this long division, you are going to end up with a binary equivalent of your decimal number. So dividing 2 into 249, you get 124 with a remainder of 1. We repeat the divisions until our quotient is 0. So 2 dividing into 124, you get 62 and it divides into 124 fully, therefore we remain with 0. 2 into 62 is 31 with no remainder. 2 into 31 is 15 with a remainder of 1. 2 into 15 is 7 with a remainder of 1. 2 into 7 is 3 with a remainder of 1. 2 into 3 is 1 with a remainder of 1. And 2 into 1 will uh, be zero and I'll bring this one here which is my remainder. After doing that we read these remainders backwards that is in the reverse order in which we have uh, obtained them. So I end up with one 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 zero zero one as my result. 
and I put base 2 to mean now this is my binary equivalent for 249. Once again, to convert decimal to binary, we divide by the base of binary, which is 2. The division has to continue repeatedly until the quotient is 0. We read the remainders in the reverse order to find our binary number. Understood? On to our next, that is if we are converting decimal to octal, and I'll use the same figure. I want to convert 249 to octal. Octal has 8 digits, 0 through 7, so the base is 8. Now I'm going to do the same thing, the division by the base of the number system I'm targeting. So, 249 divided by 8, which is our octal base, and we'll be noting the remainders. Now, I'll uh, make use of a calculator to help us go through the sum quickly. Okay, here is my calculator. So, you'll punch in 249 divided by 8 and the answer is 31.125 so I'll write 31 as my quotient and uh, 0 0.125 I'll find the product of 0 0.125 by 8 gives me 1 so that's my remainder and I repeat the same 31 divide by 8 and I get 3.875 so I'll write 3 and get the product of 0 0.875 times 8 and I get 7 7 is my remainder do the same and in this case 8 being larger than 3 the quotient will be 0 and my 3 comes here as my last remainder and so I read the remainders in the reverse order and I arrive at 371 as my result and lastly I'm going to work out down here the conversion from decimal to hexadecimal so let's see 249 to hex, hexadecimal. So, in the same way, we will be dividing 249 by 16, which is the base for hexadecimal. And with the help of our calculator again, we'll be doing this uh, sum. So, I'll punch in my calculator. 249 divided by 16 and I get 15 and 0.5625 so I'll take this 0 0.5625 times 16 and get that my remainder is 9 divide again this by that and 16 being larger than 15 the quotient is 0 and the remainder is my 15 here and reading it in reverse I have 15 and 9 now I want us to be keen we said in the hexadecimal number system we have digits 0 to 9 and then followed by letters A to F so 0 to 9 followed by A to F the A is standing for 10 B is for 11, C is for 12, D is for 13, E is for 14, and lastly F is for 15. So after our division, we are going to substitute 15 with its corresponding letter F. So therefore, we have F9, 16 as our final number. 
I hope that has been simple enough. Let me know in the comments if you have any problems that you'd like us to help or if you've not understood, let me know and we shall interact in the comment section to help you where you need any help. So that has been how you can convert the decimal number systems into binary, octal and hexadecimal. Remember, we have only done for whole numbers. In another video, we'll be looking at how you can convert where you have the fractional parts. That is it for this video. Feel free to like. If you find it helpful, please subscribe and share with your friends. And uh, that is it. Until next time. Bye-bye.